What do you want, Witcher? From what I can see, you and the men love your king. He's like a father to us, really. Comes around from time to time, chats it up, pats you on the mug. Remembers our names, too. Though you got to earn that in battle. Been so distinguished three times already. Pride myself on it. I'm sure it's a great honor for a humble soldier like yourself. Last time it happened, we was on the march. Some peasant poisoned his well. A few of our lads died. Many others got sick. I path... Pass... Pathicide that village. We hit them so hard, we even struck fear into our own boys. They went without a row for two days, and the king was very pleased. He came around, gave me a friendly punch in the gut, laughed, and said, You are one true son of a bitch. If you'd not been born among swine, you'd probably be king. That's how he is. Humane and all. He's really got a heart. Did you participate in the battle? I did. And I fought. But I'd rather not go into it. The spirits of those who died in battle are now in combat on that field. They kill each other and change into nasty creatures called Draugrs. Adernians, Kedwenis, even your comrades. I want to help them, but I have to know what happened during the battle. Oh, the plague. Listen, then. The fighting started in the afternoon. The Dun Banner was first to attack. We were ambushed, cut off from our main unit and devastated. Bloody scouts and Sabrina Glevesig, who was supposed to mind the battlefield. By then, the battle was in full swing. Wherever you see those damned furrows, people fought there. The Adernian lines faltered a few times, but we couldn't crush them because of Selkirk. Yes, we had the visitor. They had Selkirk of Gullet, the invincible White Knight, Edern's finest swordsman. Wherever our forces gained the upper hand, he'd appear and reverse the fighting's course. Then, Vandergrift himself went into battle. He met Selkirk in the middle of the melee. It was a battle of titans. In the end, the visitor hacked Selkirk and sliced the White Knight from his head to his balls. Then, death fell from the heavens. Lumps of burning soil flew through the air. The whole valley was on fire. Damned magic of a damned witch! I owe my life to Priest Crest, our chaplain. He led me out of the battle and went back for the others. He had a medallion that protected him against fire. He led everyone out, including the Adernians. But the flames got him in the end. You mentioned the priest. A really good man. He was with us the whole time, during the march, in the barracks, and in battle, among common soldiers. Freya gave him a medallion to protect him from fire. I don't know how true that is, but he led me and many others to safety. Who has this medallion? King Henselt. I saw it once. I don't know how he got hold of it, but he definitely had it. Were you at Brenna? Ah, yes. Cut down more black ones there than anywhere else. The Redanians were in disarray on the left when we joined the battle. Same with the Temerian regiments in the middle. We arrived just in time. Menno Cohorn commanded the Nilfgaardians. He was some leader. Even we feared him like fire. But somehow we prevailed. What happened to him afterwards? He refused to flee. Died like many others. No. No one knows who did it, and no one ever found his corpse. What happened before the battle? We forded the Pontar on the third day after the autumn equinox. The Adernians were waiting for us, formed up in a long line at the foot of those hills. I remember the banners of Wengerberg, Aldersburg, Gullet. Knights, armoured infantry, peasants, the Vergen Dwarf Regiment. All save the king. They numbered more than 5,000. General Vandergrift, commander of the Kedwenis, had less than 4,000, including the elite bearheads, armored troops from Ard Kareg, and the famous white foxes of the north. And ourselves, the Don Banner, veterans of Brenner, hated by the Adernians more than the plague. But above all, we had Vandergrift the Visitor. 
Maybe he was a bastard, but he knew war like nobody else. Do I have this right? You served in the Dun Banner? Did indeed. Henselt's never commanded a fiercer group of warriors, and he never will. If not for us, there would be no victory for the North at Brenner. We carried the day. I didn't see the Dun Banner in the camp. And you won't. The units no more. Ensign Eckhart Hennessy carried the standard into battle for the last time three years ago. Glevisig's magic? Worse. The Edernian troops, the bastards. The Dun Banner, the pride of Kedwin, lost its standard and almost all its men. The Visitor refused to send us reinforcements when we were cut off. The Dun must prevail. It's been in worse shite than this. The Dun will be all right. Seven Edernians to each one of us. We had no fucking hope. Two hundred men went into battle and less than seventy came back. But that's not all. Only a few survived to this day. The boys couldn't handle it. Suicide, firewater, fist tech. A few became highwaymen. They ended up on the gallows or in ditches. Memories can also kill you, and soldiers don't always deal with them well. I have to find that standard. I heard it lies in the catacombs neath Bergen, alongside my mates. Hey, if you're thinking of going there, I ought to give you my beaver skin cap. That's its rightful place. Did you see the duel between Saltkirk and Vandergrift? From a distance. At the time I was on that hill, and they were somewhere over there. The field used to be as flat as a table. It was their second duel. Earlier, in peacetime, they'd met at a tournament in Ard Karaig. Selkirk won then. Vandergrift's sword cracked and the visitor had to yield. After the tournament, he had a new sword forged by Kedwin's best mages and swordsmiths. That's how Loathen came to be. I think that means hatred in the Elder language. Pretty pretentious. They say a sorcerer cast a spell on the sword and told Vandergrift the blade wouldn't crack as long as he remained invincible. The mage got fifty lashes and was the last to mention any such nonsense. Who has Vandergrift's sword now? When the Sea of Flames died out, the looters ran amok. They found Selkirk's chain mail, which survived somehow. Maybe it was magical too. Vandergrift's sword went missing. The boys in the camp claim the female dragon slayer has it, but I wouldn't even try talking to her. Who's got Selkirk's chainmail? Uh, a certain Vincent Trott. Low nobility, in the army since forever, a greedy bastard. Where can I find him? That's a problem. Deathmo wanted him arrested after they found a square coin on him. Some of the officers and noblemen want to get rid of the Black Ones. They don't like how they lord it around the camp, even though the King talks to them. Those coins are their sign, the stupid bunch of plotters. Anyway, Vincent's a swashbuckler. He thrashed Deathmold's people and disappeared. Those with the coins won't say a word because they're scared of Deathmold. Thanks, Civic. So long. Everything fine? Great. You got a black cat. Aldrin. Here, boy. Aldrin. Aldrin. Here, boy. Aldrin. Aldrin.